I wanted to make this video today because I have not seen another video online using this method to make shot shells for your revolver and I wanted to teach you guys at home how. Um, so here's some of the reasons why you would want to make 357 shot shells. Uh, you may use them for hunting rodents and snakes out to 10 or so, 10 to 12 feet. If you already have interest in revolver shot shells, you know how expensive they are. Just for a box of empty spear shot capsules, it's around $9. Preloaded, it costs around $15 or so dollars for $10. Um, and if you reload already, you probably already have all this stuff on hand. Roughly, these are costing about $0.10 cents each to load. So let's get started. So uh, first, you uh, size a 357 shot shell. Then I take my lime and chamfer tool and make a nice sharp edge on it. And then cut some wads. You just take it right here with the hammer and just pound out some wads. I already, I already have some pounded out from earlier, right over here. Um, so we're just gonna use these that I made earlier. I'm just cutting these out of poster board, out of an old box. I also need some powder, obviously, and uh, today I'll be using 800X. I'm sure other powders will work, including Unique and Universal. So, first, cut out some wads. Then, you prime your brass. Next, we're gonna measure out five grains of uh, 800X. Now, this is just load data that I've that I've made up on my own. There's no pressure signs or anything. It seems to work just fine. Probably it's even a little bit weak. But for my purposes, it seems to work, so. There's five grains of powder. Now you break, take your primed brass and uh, put your powder in there. Next you take a shot card and you put it on there. And I take this 30 caliber bullet and push it down so it's nice and firm, not too hard. I take and load two shot cards. Maybe one would work. I'd need to do some more experimenting to see if that'd work. Next, you take some shot, and I have it loaded in this 300 Ultra Mag brass. Take your shot and you load up your 357, almost up to the top, about like that. Now you take two more shot cards and you put them on top here. And now, I kind of go by feel when I do this. I'm just going to crimp it real tight on top with my 357 mag brass, or with my 357 magnum crimp die, I should say. Now it looks like that. There's a completed round. Um, so, I, I know these work quite well when you fire them one at a time. But I don't think that shot card would, I don't think that shot card would stay in there in a revolver. Okay, and that would be all.